Hello everybody, it's Kim here. Welcome back to more LEGO Star Wars news update. Yes, we're finally back talking about LEGO again. I know it's been a long time since I talked about LEGO. And really, that hasn't really been a whole lot of news worthwhile for me really talking about. There was a, I know the January sets came out a while back. I didn't do reviews on them because I don't really want this to be like a LEGO focused channel. It's like a gaming channel. But I want to talk about some LEGO because I really do enjoy talking about LEGO. So this is, this is, and we, and we finally got the similar rumors for the LEGO Star Wars sets coming out for August 1st, and boy, oh boy, this is one weird wave. That's all I'm going to say to this right now, guys. This is one weird, strange wave. That's all I'm going to say right now. So first up, we have this set. It's not technically a, a similar release. It's the Sith Infiltrator should be releasing in May. So, yeah, this is an interesting set. Not necessarily the greatest set. I do like this different material. I haven't gotten one previously. I know it was like a big one released back in 2015, but this one could be interesting. It's $70. I don't know how big it's going to be, but... I'm sorry, I got the books apparently, but... Yeah, it should have Dolph Maul, Padme, Qui-Gon Jinn, and pa Panaka. Pretty standard figure selection. Pretty standard figure selection for the set. So we'll be getting Darth Maul, which is pretty cool, episode 1 Darth Maul Padme. We hope they give a new face to Padme this time, because the one in the gunship from last year was not particularly great. We have Qui-Gon Jinn, probably will be good. Captain Panaka probably will be good. So, it's all it's there for the May Wave. Not necessarily the bad, not necessarily a bad set, but... Then we have probably the least exciting set of the Summer Wave. Buddable Seat Repio. I mean, it's good. I like Buddable Joys more than Buddable, you know, like, humanoid, like, characters. This will probably be a good set. I do like the seat repo. I don't know. It would be better than the one from the Technic one they did back in the day. Because you know, that Technic one was awful. But yeah. This one is probably going to be good. It will obviously go with the bit of the detail we should be getting in March. And it should occur a seat repo mini figure. Maybe. Potentially an anniversary figure. I'm hoping this comes with an anniversary figure. Because all you do comes with an anniversary figure. Dolph Malik, I believe. I uh, really hope this comes with an anniversary figure to really complete that whole set. I don't know. I feel like it could, but, but, uh, I don't know. I feel like it could potentially have it, but I don't know. We don't know yet for sure. It doesn't say here, but it could happen. See how angry, okay? Then we have the TIE Fighter and X-Wing, or X-Wing and TIE Fighter. This is a weird set because they just retired the two previous X-Wing and TIE Fighter sets, which is interesting. I don't know why they decided to make new versions of those ships. And both of them are going to have swappable wings, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but whether you'll be able to turn it. Like, maybe I'll think you'll be able to swap the wings in the TIE Fighter and put it on the X-Wing. Maybe you can turn the X TIE Fighter into, like, a Dolph Fatos TIE Fighter. Maybe you can turn the X-Wing into, like, a different type of X-Wing, like, Wed 5 or Wed 2 or Wed... F I don't know. <laughs> it could be interesting. It could be like that. Figures are definitely going to be, like, what sells the set because you get X-Wing Pirate, TIE Pirate, Astro McDroid... Probably no Luke, because I feel like if they was, if Luke was going to be in the set, they would have said it, so. Oh, yep, this is new Pat Pirates, maybe we're going to get Dolph Fado. I don't know, this is, that is the biggest question mark for me, because I don't know how I feel about that. Because all the previous models, two models of these ships were pretty good, and I'm worried, I'm surprised they're doing it in the model of these sets. To a com in a combo pack of all those things. I guess the combo packs are doing really well. Like, we got two last year, which were pretty good sets. But it's really weird they're doing a combo pack with these two iconic vehicles. I don't know how I feel about this set. This is probably going to be the weirdest set in the way for me. But this set makes sense, in my personal opinion. Escape from the Sarlacc. This is probably going to go with that UCS Jabba Sailballs or Master Builder. I'm, I'm hoping it's, I'm leaning towards the fact that that might be a Master Builder series Jabba Sailballs instead. Mainly due to the fact that this set exists and it will include... Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando, Bubba from the mech. Maybe a pauldron. I'm hoping it comes with a pauldron added on. And two more figures. Probably just random grunts of Java. Of Java. I'm willing to bet those are just going to be random grunts of Java. Like, I don't know what they're called. But yeah, probably that. Still in the other set to go with that. A little expensive though. $90 for that set. I don't know how I feel about that. It's, I mean, it's probably going to go well with that Java... You, Master Builder series Jabba or Sailboard, which probably will be coming out on April, no, 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 October is what I meant to say, I'm trying to find the word to that, but this is a neat set to go with that, I would say, 
Okay, now let's get to the wheel good sets because this set is probably one of my personal favorites of the wave. The battle on Padelia. This is probably the set. This is an interesting set because a lot of people were hoping it would be Thorn Star Destroyer. I guess they did not decide to make that, but I honestly think this is better in my post opinion. Like, I got that little bit. Like, a, uh, first off, if it was Thorn Star Destroyer, that would take about. That would have to be at minimum $170. No less, no more. This is obviously a much cheaper set to get all these amazing characters. Oops, didn't mean to do that. This is obviously a cheaper set to get all those amazing characters. We have. Of course, Ahsoka in a white outfit. Ezra, Fawn, good to get him. Enoch, the Enoch Trooper. I don't know. I don't know how you say that. I, can, I, can, I don't know, but that's going to be interesting for you to get. I think a weird looking troop, but I hope that it does a good job making this trooper look good. I don't know. It's like the biggest question mark for me. Is a, I don't know if they're going to go and do this troop, but yeah, we also have Morgan, which should have a new face print. Probably from the like the final two episodes. I don't remember. I don't know. I haven't watched the Ahsoka show yet, but man, it seems like a cool set. And I can't wait to watch the Ahsoka show and be even more hyped for the set. Essentially, a lot of people are already hyped for them. I don't know what the build. Also, I didn't know what the build, build for the set is going to be. It's probably just going to be like the crappy Obi Wan versus Darth Vader build. I'm assuming it's going to be like the similar to that Obi Wan versus Darth Vader duel, where it was pretty much a nothing build. But it's like a figure pack. This is probably gonna be the most. This is probably just gonna be a downgrade to like a figure pack. But it's probably gonna be a good set. I don't say it's bad. This is probably the weirdest set in the wave. The Dark Millennium Valgan with dark way, white outfit, Darth Vader, evil Sweet Rebio, evil Chewbacca, Gungan a blue outfit. Potentially one more figure. Oh my god, this is one weird set. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad set just because it's weird. Like, I do things that could be potentially good. Like, Dwarf Side, Me and Valken. Like, we get a lot of Me and Valkans all the time, and this one's going to be one of the more different ones because the one from the sequel. The last one we got was the one from um, Wise of Skywalker, which that one was a good set. But this one's going to be a little bit really different, I imagine. We get Dark Way. Cool to get that unique character. I'm glad we're finally getting a dark way. I know a lot of people don't really like way, but it's cool to get something different for change, I would say. White outfit Darth Fader, kind of like the redeemed version of Fader from a Star Wars What If, I guess is what you could say. Cool little idea to get that figure. I don't know, I don't know if they're going to do the blue eyes or like printing on the eyes because we, I don't know if they can print on Darth Fader's mask, especially near the eye line. The only thing, way I can tell, I can think they might do it is do more of it, which I don't even know if they can even do for the eyes specifically. I don't know. I don't feel like they, they was going to be able. I feel like they gonna have to redesign the mold to make Darth Vader's eyes blue. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Evo C. Weepio could be potentially cool. Um, it's probably going to be the one from Rise of Skywalker where C. Weepio's eyes turn red. That's probably what it's going to be. Uh, I suppose it's a cool little variation to get for t -Rebe. I won't mind that. Evil Chewbacca, though, is probably going to be the most strangest figure in the set. I don't know what they're going to do with that figure, but it could be cool. Young in a blue outfit. No idea what that's that figure. I have no idea. I I don't know what that figure is. It's not Jar Jar because of what it said Jar Jar. I don't know. Maybe it's Dolph Jar Jar for all we know, but there's one more figure as well. Definitely the strangest set in the wave. No idea how I feel about this. And I'm not getting this instead of a MT. I was hoping for an MTT, but I guess they go decide to go even stranger and do this. Yeah. But this is a cool set as well. Jedi Bob Starfighter, which I was not expecting this at all. I thought Lego was never going to do Jedi Bob ever again. It's going to be a little fluke of one random figure in that one set, and it will be a. I don't know, this is weird for me. This wave is just strange. But yeah, this is a cool set. It will be $40, which makes it the most expensive Jedi Starfighter on the market right now. All you. All Jedi Starfighters previously have been around the thirty to thirty-five dollar range, but this is forty dollars. Oh boy! Jedi Bob will also have yellow skin to make his classic appearance, which I do like. There's also should be a second figure. Maybe it might be Astro McDroid. Maybe it might be something else. We don't know yet. But oh my God, this set is gonna sell like hockey. This is the weirdest set. Of the, it's a cool. It's a good weird set. I would say I do like Jedi Bob. It's cool. I'm getting that. I'd be wanting him in the gunship set, but they didn't do it for some reason. So, 
Cool again here. I really do appreciate that Lego giving us more unique figures like this. And there's one more thing that we should talk about, which is Cal Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order will be in a set finally. Hopefully with BB-1. That not BB. That hopefully with that droid on his back. Hopefully it will come in that set because I did not get that set because I don't care for Woodward characters. So I didn't get that figure. And also, Young Leia will also be in a set as well. So, yeah, definitely a weird wave. Def we haven't got all the sets yet, but this is, sounds like an interesting wave, to say the least. I hope it's Lego pulls it off. Hope a lot of these sets do work. And there should be eight sets in total, hopefully. I think they're all eight sets, actually. Not counting the main sets, but this is a good wave, I would say. This is a solid wave. Not the greatest, not the worst. But I want to get you guys, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this wave is good? Do you think it's bad? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Game of the Max.